All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program. Now today, oh man, today. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got another busy week this week, so I don't have a whole lot of time for videos. But of course, I don't want to leave you guys high and dry with nothing. So I wanted to do something quick, fun, and honestly a little bit weird today. <laughs> now, for ages, I've been seeing posts on the Kerbal Space Program forums, the subreddit about ships that people have made that have no engines and yet still manage to fly somehow. And while well, I've never tried to do this myself, so I built this, uh, the simply named Unpowered Ship. I'm very original, I know, right? <laughs> and for safety's sake, I added one of these uh, launch stabilizer strut things and <laughs> attached it to this. As I, I, I don't exactly know how you take one of these off, and I figured, hey, maybe if it gets a little drop first, it'll work. I, I don't know. So <laughs> Basically, it's one of those, these uh, Probobodyne Octo-2 unmanned probes connected to a NCS adapter with a whole crap load of advanced canards. Oh, I mean, look at that. Look at all those things in there. <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh, geez, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with this. But like I said, I've been seeing them for ages online, and I thought, what the heck, let's give this thing a go. So, yeah, here it is, and today we're going to try and fly it. Now, I I have no idea what's going to happen with this thing. I've seen the pictures, I've even seen a handful of videos, but I've never tried it myself, so I don't know what's going to happen, how this thing exactly works. So let's send it to the launch pad and find out. Okay, fast forwarded to daytime. It was about midnight when we jumped in here. And yeah, we have our lovely little robotic probe hooked up to a whole, whole lot of canard wings. And let's let's see what happens with this thing in three, two, one. Whoa, oh. Okay. I'm I'm floating. Now, if I just let go, this thing... Ooh, no, it's actually picking up speed. It initially was falling, and I decided to hit uh, forward a bit to see what happened, and, well, it started to float. And now I'm slowly floating that away. <laughs> Staying stable at 94 meters, and roughly 1.6 meters per second. Wow. Look at it. It's... uh. It's really going fast, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's let's see if we can do something here. Maybe if I, I don't know, go back and forth with that now. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, oh, okay. Something's happened if I go forward and back on the pitch. No, not a whole lot. Maybe if I try the yaw. No. Okay, I seem to get the most reaction out of the pitch, so let's let's try that. I wonder if I just pitch it all the way forward. Ooh, things are happening. Things are happening. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we kind of shot up there for a moment, but then it all kind of went away. Maybe if I go back and forth on the pitch, so up and down. No, that doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's just try to pitch it forward, see what happens. And let's lock this baby into SAS. We are currently... Oh, no, no, we lost a meter. We lost a meter. Let's... Okay, yeah, this is this is some quality entertainment right here, folks. I mean, look at this thing. It's just going by at blistering speeds. <laughs> yeah, the post I've seen of people doing it... What? Oh, debris is over there. Oh, untitled spacecraft. That must have been a random test I did. Oh, yeah, some of the pictures and images I've seen are people that have got these things all the way up to, uh, like, 30 meters per second and more. Ooh, though I'm getting a little bit more speed now. We're up to... We are up to 10 meters per second. So, yeah, if we alternate pitching up and down, 
this thing does seem to get some speed on it. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, okay. All right, we are. Oh my god, we're actually picking up speed now. We are at... Oh, man, we're 100 meters per second here. Um... Okay, wow. We are losing altitude, though. Okay, okay, let's... Let's try to... Okay, no, I can't really pitch this thing up anymore, and we're going in the water. <laughs> okay, we got this thing up to 182 meters per second. That's actually... Huh. <laughs> That's more than I thought it would. Oh, no. Highest speed was 300 meters per second. Wow, that's... That's impressive. Let's try this thing again. So, yeah, it did it definitely start to go faster when I was pitching up and down more, but I started to lose altitude, so that wasn't so good. Let's just hit spacebar and stage this to see what happens. Will it fall all the way down, or... Oh, no, no, ooh. It took lift all by itself. And, woo, okay. It is just going up and down. I'm not touching any keys right now. <laughs> and it is, ooh, topping out at about just below 10 meters per second. And going quite nicely up and down. Now, I wonder if I yaw side to side, if that will do anything. So far, the pitching up and down seem to be the best. But it is definitely screwy. Now, this doesn't actually seem to be doing anything. Let's try rolling. No, that's not either. Let's do the pitch up and down. Or Yep. Oh, that's not doing much. I guess we have to pitch forward a bit first. Seem to be the best way. And then, when it's facing forward a bit, actually doing the pitching up and down... Come on. Come on, buddy. You can move. There we go. All right. You're doing good. This thing just looks so weird. <laughs> All right. Let's try pitching up and down now. All right. Well, no, we're... Uh, that didn't really seem to do much. I'm actually... If I just kind of keep it like this, we're basically hovering. Well, <laughs> this could make for some very interesting probes on other planets, just to have it slowly floating over the surface. And it is gaining speed, slowly but surely, though I wonder, it, I have a feeling it's going to be dropping in altitude, but the gauge is moving so slow up at the top, I'm not entirely sure. I, I do believe it is falling. Um but just very, very slowly. <laughs> well, this could also make for an interesting system uh, rather than parachutes. I wonder how well one of these would work if you dropped it from orbit. Okay, yeah, there we go. We did lose a full meter now. I just noticed that. But yeah, I wonder how well one of these would actually work from orbit. Let's try pitching this thing again some more. Okay, we are picking up speed, so that definitely does seem a way to do it. But the problem is maintaining an altitude. Though we are actually gaining altitude right now. So I think perhaps I've found a good angle for starting it. Ooh, though we're, we're losing altitude now. We are losing altitude. Okay, oh yeah, we are. We are going to lose it again. Water. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. I, don't, I do not understand how people have gotten these things to fly so well. Let's see. That time was 247 meters per second. Let's actually head back into the vehicle assembly building. And I don't know. Maybe add some more canards to this thing. Okay. Let's see. I wonder if we just attach one of these structural fuselages and then add a whole load more of these canards. Uh, I kind of doubt that this is going to actually do anything, but at the very least it may be amusing. But who knows, adding more of these control surfaces could be our ticket to faster speeds and higher altitudes. 
Alrighty, let's plop that in there. As well lined up as I can imagine it. That should be good. Now let's go back to the launch pad. Yes, clear the debris. Okay, let's wait for the world to load here. There we are, and we have some sort of weird turbine-looking thing here. <laughs> okay, and let's just drop this thing and see what happens. Woo, all right. So it does float, and it floats slightly faster than just the single stage up here, though. Ooh, a bit less controllable. It seems to be swaying back and forth here. All right, well, let's... Ooh, oh, we actually seem to have a bit more control over this thing. Maybe? No, 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 no. I, I spoke too soon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I just find it hilarious that this thing is just floating there. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's 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 see if we can... Yeah, it's, it seems to be the best way to do it is to pitch it forward a bit or in one direction and then do the back and forth from that. Though This one is fighting me now. Huh. Well, let's try... Let's try pitching back and... F or yaw instead of pitch. No, no, that doesn't seem to want to do much either. Let's just try to roll the thing then. Come on, spin, you fool. No, that... Oh, jeez. This is just the weirdest thing I think I've ever built in this game. And that's saying a lot, considering this is Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> People have built some very, very weird things in this game. But this, this just seems to... Oh, man, I don't know. It, It is definitely interesting. I, I really do want to test using this as a some sort of method of landing rather than parachutes. I think that would be kind of cool to try. But just trying to get it to fly is strange. I don't understand how people have gotten these things to f actually fly properly. I've seen videos of these, you know, buzzing by the VAB, though rather uncontrollably, but nonetheless. Now this one, hmm... Seems a bit more odd. It's very strange to control. And just the sheer physics of breaking that is going on right now. I mean, come on, look at this. <laughs> it's just a fuselage with some canards, and it's uh, floating, basically. Alright, this one doesn't seem to be uh, working quite as well as the previous test. So I want to try, I'm actually going to go back to the VAB, and we're going to try one more thing that I think might be very amusing. I'm just going to strap a solid rocket booster at the bottom of this thing. And, well, well, we should actually have a way so we don't have all the weight to uh, kick that thing off afterwards. Nope, that's the big one. We need you. There we go. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. I need you down here. There we go. Let's launch. So let's try to get some altitude with this thing and then try and fly it. Oh, God. I have a feeling this is going to go horribly wrong. Well, let's find out. <laughs> whoa. Oh, dear sweet God. No. Oh, whoa. Okay. Okay. SAS does not do a thing. I actually think it made it worse. <laughs> oh, there are so many forces working against this thing. Let's just launch it. Okay. Oh. Oh, though that did get us a nice acceleration. Whoa, look at this. Oh, man, that is... I may need to turn on fine-tuned controls here. Okay, we got a good deal of speed off of this thing at first, but now we are we are certainly slowing down with it. Let's turn back off the fine-tuned controls. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, this thing is very twitchy, but man does it move. 
So basically, whatever direction you dip this thing in, it gains the speed from it, then you change to another direction, and it keeps going. That is actually quite cool. Whoop! Let's head back towards the VAB, and way. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is definitely one of the weirdest things ever <laughs> that I've done in this game, but it's actually really fun. <laughs> I have a thing flying around that has absolutely no engines whatsoever. <laughs> oh, I really do like the idea of throwing this thing onto a rocket and using it as some sort of uh, landing platform, basically doing aero braking rather than uh, using a parachute. I, I do seriously want to know how well that would work. I'm going to have to try that one of these days. Whoop. All right, this is... This is awesome. <laughs> okay, well, this is actually going a heck of a lot better now. Whoa, okay, whoa, oh, oh, that was close. Oh, there we go. And we switched over to Sewell and Jebediah. I... okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess, I guess if you crash an unmanned probe close enough to an existing craft with people in it, it switches over to them. Huh. Who knew? <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think that is going to be it for this episode. <laughs> Like I said, just kind of a short, weird episode today, because I just don't have enough time to do a full one, and ooh, I still, I still hear explosions going on in the background. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have fun just playing around with that thing. I think that that little aircraft is going to be something I just, you know, if I'm bored and sitting in this game, I'll just pull that thing out and fly around without engines for a while. That could be fun. But, yeah. I hope you guys give it a try. It is absolutely hilarious. But, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and you come back for the next, where hopefully I should have enough time to do a actual proper mission to somewhere in space. But unfortunately today I just didn't have that time. But thank you for watching, uh, nonetheless, and as always, my friends, have a good one.